tell you a story about one time when I came back from school. I was 14 years old and I was pretty upset that day because I failed my history exam. So I arrived home and I logged in into the Minecraft server me and my friends usually play in, in the afternoons. And suddenly, Dennis started bragging about passing the exam and getting a good grade and it was very annoying. And I was determined to relax his enthusiasm and arrogance. So I decided to find his character in the game, to slay in it, to take all of his food and weapons and to set his house on fire. But it will take me so long just to understand where he's located and to get to him half an hour, an hour, I don't know. If there was only a way to automate this, maybe by writing a Python script or several bash lines, it would be so neat, I'll finish my duties in like two minutes. Well, it's actually possible. Someone created Minecraft FS. It's a file system you can mount into your computer. And by modifying files inside the mount point, you can affect the gameplay. So, for example, modifying a file named player slash help will affect the player's help within the game. Or modifying a file with the player's position will change his coordinates in the game, which is pretty neat. But how did he do this? He did this, he did this with uh, something named Fuse. And this is what we're going to talk about today. It stands for File System in User Space. Hi, my name is Eva. I'm a DevOps engineer in a small startup during the day. And I'm an artist during the day as well. Um, I'm also known as a Vusa in my social. So what is Fuse? According to Wikipedia, it's a kernel module that allows non-privileged users to create their own file systems without editing the kernel code. OK, but what does it actually mean for us, the users? It means that we can create our own file systems. We can modify and redefine operations like reading from a file or writing to a file or listing directories and add more functionality to them. And what's nice about it is that we can do this with high-level languages like Python, which is super convenient. But let's talking. Let's look at a real example. Let's create our own file system using Fuse. OK, so in our file system, lowercase fs, um, each newly created file will be lowercase before it will be created. Uh, we will use a Python library named the Fuse, very surprisingly. And we'll create a class, myfs, and overwrite the file creation process. So each new file's path will be lowercase. Now, we'll mount our file system. We'll mount it by running it as a Python code with the mount point as an argument, LCFS in our case. And when we'll create a new file with uppercase letters inside our mount point, some fuse magic will happen. It will pass through our implementation of file creation first and the file will be created lowercase, which is pretty nice. So what people actually do with views in the real world? For example, someone created Spotify, which is pretty neat. You can mount your Spotify library into your computer and to access the WAV files of your favorite songs from the terminal, which is pretty nice for DJs, if anyone in here is a DJ. There's YTFS, which is very similar, uh, but it allows you to mount your uh, YouTube library and to access the videos from the terminal. There's RedisFS that creates the illusion that you operate locally on your computer on your remotely stored Redis data. And there's S3FS that, instead of using Boto3 and AWS CLI to manipulate the objects in your S3 buckets, you can just mount it to your computer and to operate on the objects as if they were files, which is pretty neat as well. And there are many, many more examples. BTFS, NEFS, NTFS 3G for mounting, and Windows partitions, and many, many more. There's even Wikipedia FS, which I find hilarious, uh, for mounting Wikipedia to your computer <laughs> and to edit the articles using Vim. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think it's useful. I got a little bit more time, so <laughs> I actually finished uh, the slide. And there are links uh, for all of the repos in the last slide if you want to look at it later. Thank you. 